a young girl, scarcely 16. Thanks to my parents, lots of places I've seen, but never a place that I love as well as my Virgio home neat the maiden. Welcome to This Week in Review. Tonight's stories include Work on the Comfort Dumping Station at the Park is underway. Parsons Trucking will be repairing the washout at Southwest Brook. Firearm Safety Course mandatory for new hunters. Camping is becoming increasingly popular on the Caribou Trail. These stories and more coming up after this. I was up to that new place the other day. It was up by the new hospital. Oh, yes, custom carpet. That's it. My son, you should see the stuff they got up there. They got all kinds and everything to do it with. Bessie, that's the wife. She's been keeping mine for ages to go up. Jerry, she said, it's not going to hurt you to go up and look around. So we went up. My son, I was amazed. The colors of paint you can get mixed up there is unreal. There's hundreds and hundreds of colors. The prettiest kind. And brushing rollers. My son, don't be talking. There's rollers that lint free rollers of Melamy paint and brushes for painting in counters. Well, I could go on and on. Work on the new Comfort Station dumping station for Sandbanks Provincial Park got underway on Monday. Five carpenter laborers and a four-person have been hired to construct a building that will house male and female showers as well as laundry facilities. This building is being constructed across the road from the park officer's cabin. A storehouse has been constructed and work is currently being carried out in preparation for the cement foundation to be poured for the building. The general public should stay clear of the construction site when visiting the park. For the past several months, motorists have had to use extreme caution when traveling in the Southwest Brook area.
The extremely high waters experienced in February caused many rivers along Route 480 to overflow their banks. Just past the 90 degree turn, one small brook was transformed into a raging river, causing an extensive washout in that area. The right-hand lane traveling in the highway has been closed since February because of the washout. Parsons Trucking have received a subcontract to repair this section of road. Work has not yet begun on the repairs, but hopefully this work will be carried out before the snow falls. Stay with us, there's more of This Week in Review still to follow. This is one of the current for the spare building. She wanted a pretty rose color. She said, well, see, boy, when we got up there, they had so many pretty colors, she didn't know what to choose from. I swear they had a hundred or more color samples there. Oh, man, it was unbelievable. Well, when we ended up, we bought enough carpet to do the old house. My son, the old place looks something nice now, painting the carpet right through. Everything looks brand new. This is right pleased. Come to think of it, I is too. Yes, sir, for your painting and flooring needs, go to Custom Carpet. You'll be so glad you did. Getting a permit to obtain a big game license is no longer the responsibility of the Department of Wildlife. In order to hunt big game, or small game and birds for that matter, one now has to complete the Hunter Capability course. The Hunter Capability course, a 15-hour course, is required this fall on the island of Newfoundland by all new big and small game hunters and those who have not yet previously completed a recognized firearms training program. This program is being offered by public colleges such as West Viking College across the island. This course must be completed by new hunters who wish to hunt small game or migratory birds this fall. Hunters who completed the former Hunter Capability Testing Program or the Canadian's Firearm Safety Course prior to April of this year are not required to do any further training. Also beginning this hunting season, hunters will be required to have in their possession an outdoor identification card along with their license. This is the card that was sent to you in the mail earlier this summer. The Caribou Trail may just as easily have been named the Camping Trail. More and more Burgio, Ramia and Gray River residents are finding home away from home along Route 480, the Caribou Trail. Camping has always been a popular way to spend a vacation. But now more and more people are spending their weekends, holidays, and in some cases their whole summer in a gravel pit along the Caribou Trail. At first glance, a stranger might think they've hit Burgio when they top the hill at Peter Strides. Between Peter Strides and Burnt Pond, there are about 125 cabins and trailers, and they continue right to Burgio. Back about 10 years ago, trailers and cabins were used from the Victoria Day weekend in May to the Labor Day weekend in September, but that's not the case any longer as cabins and trailers are used year-round. It's the 24th of May and we like to get away Up in the woods or going out the bay There's all kinds of places but the place we like to get is up on the highway in the gravel pits We to go out in the good old gravel pits We loves to go out there when life gets smelly We can spray paint our names on the face of the cliff Go up to the Irving for a Coke and chips Hitches up the camper and out of town we go Out on the highway with everything in tow The dog is in the back seat and grandfather's drunk the youngster's in the trailer and the wife is in the trunk It's the 24th of May and we likes to get away Up in the woods or going up the bay There's all kinds of places 
but the place we likes to get is up on the highway in the gravel pits. John is coming over and Sue and Henry too. We we'll polish off a bottle and a pot of loose stew. We we'll tell a few stories and an awful lot of lies. Green boughs on the fire to keep away the flies. The youngsters get excited, then they start to bounce and jump. But when we piles in the car and goes up to the dump, it's cheaper than a movie, so we all sit and stares. Up by the garbage boy, you're looking at the bear. It's the 24th of May, and we likes to get away. Up in the woods or going out the bay. There's all kinds of places, but the place we likes to get is up on the highway in the gravel pits. Flies a loopy flag on an old spruce pole It drowns a few worms in the tractor mud hole It listens to the radio, we plays it good and loud The scoff on the coma stove is bound to draw a crowd and When the weekend's over, we're headed back to town A half inch of sloppy snow lying on the ground A hundred dollars for a pot who wants to be rich We just had a lovely time out in the pits It's the 24th of May and we likes to get away up in the woods or going out the bay There's all kinds of places but the place we likes to get Is up on the highway in the gravel pits Is up on the highway in the gravel pits Stay with us for more of This Week in Review coming up after this. Just a minute now, Bessie's singing out to me. Oh yes, it's Bessie. What say, old oh, dear? You're going up to Crystal Cabin looking for some borders and paper to match a new carpet. Wait for me, because I'm coming too. I love to go up there. Yes, sir, custom carpet is some nice place. If you don't know what I'm talking about, your neighbor do. Got to go now before Bessie goes and leave me. Wait for me, Bessie, because I'm going to custom carpet too. Yes, sir. Off the rack. This week as we scanned our tape racks, we came across a video of Sandy the Caribou at Sandbanks Provincial Park. Here's a look back to August 5th, 1990. Playbill. Tune in on Tuesday at 7 p.m. for a rebroadcast of Crevice from the Salmon Sea Festival. 
And I'll be here again next week with This Week in Review. Next week's program will be followed by Black Satin from the Sand and Sea Festival. Stay tuned now for Crevice. For This Week in Review, I'm Dave Cooper. Good night.